All right, fellow duplicants, I'm going to be very quick with this. I seen something on Reddit that was talking about solar panel exposure and how the solar light overlay here uh, and exposure at about midday or early day, the light gets much brighter than a solar panel can handle in building an array as this or this or this is more effective than the humble three tile uh, setup. So I've devised a quick test here to see which one is more effective. And we're just gonna, rather than getting a spreadsheet and crunching numbers and hoping they're right with uh, Oni physics, we're just gonna run a quick test and see which one of these batteries charges the quickest, which will show which one of these is more effective. Now we're gonna do this test uh, controlled. We're gonna do it right now while the light is at about 25,000 lux and uh, then we'll do it again when it's at its brightest. I'll restart and we'll block out the sun and do it at its brightest. I've done this based on a four bunker tile setup here. That's about what you need in between space scanners and to effectively do anything in space. It Four seems to be about right. Uh, that can be argued later. Uh, this is simply a battery. The wiring is straight through to the battery and the automation quite simply is a not gate hooked into these little power shutoffs so they'll bob up and down and we can very clearly see who the winner is so we'll run this test right now from morning uh, you can see what time it is there and only time uh, early morning so let's go ahead and run and let's see what the looks is looking like 27 now we're gonna rerun this experiment when it's at its brightest I'm just gonna reload the save real quick uh, there's nothing else on this map, so it should run really quickly, nice and smooth, and uh, we will test it when it's at its brightest. And right now, when it's not at its brightest, uh, it looks like we have a clear winner with this setup. If you can guess which one it is, I can already tell. I can tell that, watch, watch, wait for it, wait for it. No participation trophies here, everyone's a winner, completely even. So. Let's watch this light overlay. And let's see when the number gets its highest. I've what around what time it's gonna be its highest. Da -da 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 speed time up. Da -da 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 let's see, fifty. I've never really paid attention to when the brightest of times is. But it will be very easy to kill and restart this experiment from scratch here. Let's see. 67, 68. Alright, so the Lux has hit the brilliant stage. Alright, 76. Uh, I hate the waiting. But I'm not going to video edit and split recordings for a quick test. I want you to see what I'm doing rather than having to go do it yourself. Some of these tests are a little bit annoying to set up. Alright, so 80,000 80, lux is the peak is which it starts to turn back down. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to explode these batteries right where they're at. Grab another battery. We're going to throw that right in the same place. And we're going to test this at its brightest. Set these perimeters up so that our winner shall be very clear. And let's see what we get. Slow this down. Let's watch this looks. Let's see what the clear winner is going to be if, if the light being at peak performance makes a difference on the absorption rate of these solar panels. Alright, so, right over here, automation, let's, let's look at the automation overlay. As you can see, winner, winner, winner. These three won already at the same time. Um, so, four versus six versus, I, I don't even want to count that as ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. So, ten, six, and four won uh, by... Let's see, about one, two, three, four, five seconds. 
So at about five seconds, not much extra power. Uh, you can decide if it's worth it for you. Uh, it won out as far as quickness of charging, so that, that will give a little bit more power versus the other. The other thing, uh, the this is the testing branch, and as of the testing branch, still the mesh tile allows the light to fully pass through, whereas the both the window in diamond and both the window in glass reduce the amount of light coming through. Now it seems to make no difference where the tiles specifically are. The light reduction is the same all the way down. I thought maybe the, the, the higher up or maybe closer to the surface because as you notice in some cases as the light comes down uh, through through a couple other porous materials it, it will reduce by about uh, 10 to 12 percent I think is right but anyway this works slightly more efficient don't know if it's enough to write home about uh, there, there there is one thing as you notice these panels have a current wattage left on them so we can now that they have uh, reached their peak of absorption uh, just to add another layer onto this testing let's uh let's blot the sun out destroy these batteries and let's just see how much power is left in these batteries to discharge or run off into the or excuse me in these panels to discharge into the batteries themselves this will give me a kind of a over overview of how much hangover 224 joules 224 joules I bet that's gonna be 224 I bet that's gonna be like 200 182 so 182 joules 242 or did I? 224, I'm dyslexic. Okay, so about a 40 joule difference there. Of how much power had been left, squeezed out of these, uh, the rind of this orange. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. And I may sit down and do the math later. I think for the moment, I will stick with my humble design. And I may jump up to this three tile overhang. Uh if space allows for it.